Hi, this is Paul Leffler, voice of your Bulldogs. And on behalf of my colleagues from Bulldog Sports Properties, thank you for partnering with us this season. And trying to recap this historic football season, where should we even begin? This story had all the twists and turns of a Hollywood script, including the return of Coach Tedford, a star-studded lineup of senior leadership and talented newcomers, big-time opponents, and a passionate fan base with expectations of a championship. The story began in early September with a dominant performance against Cal Poly, and then a sold-out crowd electrifying Valley Children's Stadium for a thriller against Oregon State, only to see the Bulldogs fall on the game's final play, dropping their record to one and one. Up next was the long-awaited battle against a top 10 Trojan team at the LA Coliseum. The Red Wave would not miss an opportunity like that, but losing the captain of the defense and then the captain of the offense, both to potential season-ending injuries, was a gut punch none of us saw coming. That defeat was followed by two more. The season seemed to be spiraling out of control and the bandwagon was getting lighter and lighter. But within the walls of that Bulldog locker room, belief never wavered. Or, as legendary coach Jim Sweeney would say it, it was a no-dogs-down mentality they brought into their homecoming matchup against San Jose State, drawing a line in the sand and willing themselves to a breakthrough victory in front of a capacity crowd. The dogs would make quick work of New Mexico on the road and then return home to face San Diego State. The return of captains Jake Hayner and Evan Williams in one of the craziest turnarounds the final minute of a football game has ever experienced. Touchdown. Two point. Then the unthinkable happened. It's a bouncing ball that's up in the air. The Dogs have a chance. Oh, they got it! They got it! Jose Pope has recovered the onside kick inside the 40 of San Diego State. Apple Dogs miraculously have a heartbeat. Shotgun snap to Hayner. Blitz coming. Fires to his right. Caught. First down and more. Remigio to the 15, the 10, 5. Touchdown! Fresno State! Ridiculous! At Valley Children's Stadium. We're dead on the table, and they brought out the defibrillator. They could find a way to win in a situation like that. What could possibly stop them? And nothing did. Wins against Hawaii, UNLV at Allegiant Stadium, Nevada, and senior night against Wyoming. That made for a seven-game winning streak and a giant red wave of momentum barreling back to Boise for the Mountain West Championship. With redemption on their minds in the rematch, the Dogs blasted the Broncos to win their eighth game in a row, securing the championship and a spot in the Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl at SoFi Stadium against Washington State. There was absolutely no way the Red Wave could miss that opportunity and more than 20,000 Fresno State fans flooded into Inglewood, where Coach Tedford's Bulldogs made more history dismantling their Pac-12 opponents to become the first team in college football history to start the season one and four, but still find a way to finish with 10 victories. If that's not a Hollywood ending, I don't know what is. On behalf of Bulldog Sports Properties, we're so thankful for your support and look forward to your continued commitment in the future. We couldn't have done it without you. Go Dogs!